He is known for his musical upbringing in the Ashkenazic tradition of Orthodox Judaism. He honed his skills through piano lessons starting at a young age. His name is Hermann Berlinsky. In the early 20th century, amidst civil and political unrest in Russia, Hermann Berlinsky's parents, Boris and Deborah Wygodsky Berlinsky, found themselves seeking refuge in the Jewish community of Lodz. The year was 1905, and Poland was facing growing discontent under Russian rule. The largest uprising, known as the June Days Uprising or the 1905 Lodz insurrection, raged on during this time. Fearing for their safety, the Berlinskis made a difficult decision to flee to Leipzig. Hashtag continue hashtag Leipzig provided a sanctuary for the Berlinski family after the end of World War I. While Poland regained its independence in 1918, conflicts between Poland and the Soviet states of Russia and Ukraine persisted until early 1921. Boris Berlinski, having experienced relative poverty as a factory laborer in Lodz, found stability in Leipzig through his work in haberdashery. Despite the hardships they faced, the Berlinskis held on to their Polish nationality, as acquiring German citizenship was challenging, especially for foreigners, and even more so for Jews. Hashtag continue hashtag Hermann Berlinski, born on August 18, 1910, was the youngest of six children. Raised in the Ashkenazic tradition of Orthodox Judaism, the family spoke Yiddish at home. At a young age, Hermann's musical talents became apparent, and his mother arranged piano lessons for him, starting at the age of six. He attended the Ephraim Karlbach School, Leipzig's only Jewish school at that time. Tragedy struck when Deborah Berlinski passed away in 1920, leaving the children under the care of their father, who never remarried. After observing the mourning period, Hermann began private piano lessons with Bronja Gottlieb, a Polish-born graduate of the Leipzig Conservatory. In the midst of his musical journey, Hermann found himself in the vibrant city of Paris during the year 1938. It was here that he composed one of his most memorable works, a theatrical piece called Chazeth. This composition, written for string quartet and the innovative Andes Martinot instrument, made its debut in the prestigious Salle Erud. The Andes Martinot, a new and unique instrument at the time, had caught Hermann's attention through his acquaintance with Daniel Leeser, who had introduced him to its inventor, Maurice Martinot. The premiere of Chazeth garnered praise and support from Daniel Leeser himself, who became a fervent advocate for Hermann's music. During the same year, Hermann also created another notable composition titled Allegretto Grazioso con Variazioni, Homage a Ravel. Originally written for piano, this piece underwent revisions in 1945 and is now preserved in the Hermann Berlinski Music Collection at the Library of JTSA. It stands as a tribute to the influential composer Maurice Ravel, showcasing Hermann's admiration for his musical style. Unfortunately, the ravages of World War II took their toll on Hermann's musical legacy. Aside from the few scores he managed to carry with him as he left Paris, it appears that the rest of his compositions were lost in the destruction of the war. The devastation of this period in history resulted in the disappearance of much of Hermann's work, leaving only fragments and memories of his artistic achievements. Despite the loss of many compositions, the impact of Hermann's creations in Leipzig and Paris cannot be underestimated. His collaboration with Daniel Leeser and the successful premiere of Chazeth in Paris solidified his reputation as a talented composer. The homage to Ravel in Allegretto Grazioso con Variazioni showcased his ability to pay tribute to the musical giants who came before him. Though much of his work may be lost to history, the significance of these compositions remains an integral part of Hermann Berlinski's musical legacy. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.